I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question which relates area and perimeter of a square with its sides and diagonal. Now this is extremely important from the point of view of uh, questions being asked these days, especially for new SAT. Now the question here is, we need to find a relation between sides, diagonals, area and perimeter of a square, right? So let's uh, sketch one square here. So let us say this is the square we are talking about. Okay, so as you know, all sides of the square are equal, right? So let me make a diagonal also here. So all sides of the square are equal. So that means all sides are equal. Correct. Okay. And let these sides be S. So the sides are S for us. And we're calling this diagonal as D. So that is to begin with. A square will have four equal sides. We're talking about a square. So we have square with equal sides S. Okay. And it has a diagonal. D. Now first thing is how is this diagonal related with the sides of a square? So we also know that the sides meet at right angles. So this is a right angle triangle which is being formed between two sides and the diagonal, correct? So we can use Pythagorean theorem to relate these. So we could relate it with Pythagorean theorem and we say s square plus s square is equal to diagonal square which gives us two times s square is diagonal square and when we square root it we get square root of two times s square is the diagonal we are only taking the positive values since the lengths are always positive right normally when you square root you take positive and negative the negative value has been dropped since lengths are always positive right so that gives you a relation between diagonal and sides so we get diagonal as side square square root will be s square root of 2 right so that is one relation which is important to remember which is diagonal is equals to side times square root of 2 right so this is one relation which we should remember in questions which are related to square now let us look into area okay so we'll now look into area so that is one important thing correct now if i say area of square let's write down area of square now as far as the area is concerned let's say area will be length times width length times width since both are equal we can always write this as s times s and so we know that the area of a square is always equals to side length square right so that's the area so there's another important relation which relates area with the sides okay so we have two relations here one which relates area with sides the other one which relates diagonal with the sides you get an idea right so these are the two right now the question is how to relate area with the diagonal that's the most important thing now before getting in there let me draw your attention to something important which we have in between and this is this step let's get back to this step and see what do we get from here okay now from this step what we have written here is that the diagonal square is 2 times side square. Is that okay? Now in area, we want side square. So we can always write this as the side square is equals to diagonal square divided by 2. Is that okay? So this is another very important equation or relation to remember when we are talking about squares and when we are relating areas and parameters of a square right 
So that gives you a hint how we can relate these two and write down the area in terms of diagonal. Is that okay? So let me just take this advantage. So we have equation 1 here. Okay, we have equation 2 and we have equation 3. So we are substituting to the sub 3 in 2. Okay, so we'll do that part. So we get area A equals to, instead of S square, I'm writing diagonal square divided by 2. Right, so, so we straight away get a relation which relates area to diagonal. Do you see that? So, so we have a relation which relates area with diagonal. So if I give you that the diagonal is 10, what is the area? Okay, so now what I'm trying to give you is few examples. Okay, so let me give you one example here. Let me make another square here with some values, right? So that's right. Okay, so here what we have is a square whose diagonal is given to you as 10. Now, if the diagonal is 10, what is the area? This is the question, right? So, so for this particular square, area will be equals to diagonal square divided by 2. You get an idea, right? So, 100 divided by 2 will give you 50. Of course, square units. Is that okay? I'm not writing units here, but that is clear. Square units, okay. So straight away from diagonal, without doing many calculations, we can find out the area. So that's the huge advantage. Also, if the question is to find the sides, these are the sides, right, which are all equal, right? You could do that also because <clears throat> you know now what side is equal to, right? So let me relate side with the diagonal also from this relation, which is kind of important at this time, which is here, right? So we have diagonal is side times square root 2, right? So we know diagonal is side times square root 2. So what you can do here is, you can also find the sides. Let me write down here, it's formula for sides. So side is diagonal divided by square root 2. Is it okay? So that is how you relate side with the diagonal. So simple rearrangement of these values give you such important relations, which is side, in this case, will be diagonal, which is 10 divided by square root 2. Is that okay? Now, at times in the test, this may be rationalized, right? That means we may multiply this with square root 2 and divide also by square root 2 to write down the answer, right? So, square root 2 times 2 is 2, square root 2, square root 2 is 2. So, when you divide 10 by 2, you get 5. So, you get 5 square root 2 as the value for the size. 5 square root 2. Is that okay? So, you can find the size from the diagonal by using this simple formula. Also, the area like we did just now. Is that okay? Now, these are very important relations. You may... Pause the video, copy these relations, and then we'll move on to perimeter. Okay, let's look into the perimeter now. So, perimeter. So, for perimeter, it is sum of sides. So, let's say P, the perimeter, is sum of all the sides. That means you'll add S four times, right? So, that is what you're going to do. And when you do that, of course, you'll get four times S, and that is the formula for perimeter. Now, since we know this formula for perimeter and we know all these relations, we can directly link them, correct? So, so when you're talking about perimeter in terms of diagonal, how should we write it? So, that is another important thing, right? So, so what we can do is we can replace this S with D over square root 2 and then write down. Is that okay? So, so we can write perimeter equals to 4 times so let me call this as equation number four, okay? So what we are doing now is, okay, so we should have called this as four, okay? Let's call this four, this is five, okay? This will call six. 
Right. So now what we will do is to write. If you want perimeter in terms of diagonal, in that case we'll replace s with d over square root 2. So we are using uh, equations 5 and 6. So we are substituting 5 and 6. Okay. <clears throat> so instead of s, I'll write d over square root 2. Correct. So as far as your calculations goes, that is what you need to do to find the relation. Now, as I said, normally we don't write square root 2. So at times what we do is we rationalize. Okay, let's, let's do rationalization here. So separately, I'll do 4 over 4d over square root 2. So rationalize means you multiply and divide by square root 2. Is that okay? This is very important exercise and that is going to help you in solving many questions. So when you do that, you get 4 square root 2 in the numerator. Square root 2 times square root 2 is 2, right? Let me write down this step last time I did not write. So you get 4 square root 2 d in the numerator. Square root 2 times square root 2 is 2, correct? So that gives you a simpler equation. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So what you get here is 2 square root 2 diagonal. So that is the relation which I want you to kind of focus on. So let me call this as my equation number 7. Is that okay? It's good to number so that we can relate to them. Now perimeter is 2 times square root 2 diameter. Now in our question where we have taken diameter as 10, what is the perimeter? Can you write down the answer? It becomes simpler, right? So it becomes kind of simpler. So, so clearly in our question uh, relating to this, if diagonal is 10, then the perimeter will be 2 times square root of 2, I mean, square root of 2 times 10, which is 20 square root 2. Is it okay? So that is how you can find the perimeter given the diagonal, right? So we can have few practice questions based on this. I can say, if the diag diagonal of a square is 6 units, or we may write square root of 7, who cares, right? Any number here. You could always find area, perimeter, size, and all those things uh, very easily, okay? So this is kind of general solution, which helps you understand how we can relate them. So you don't really have to remember these formulas. It's good to remember as it saves time in a multiple choice uh, time-bound test. Uh, but practice with these so that you could easily do such questions in your test paper. I'm Adil Kumar. You can share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.